What's up guys, this is Charge, and today I have the Twixter tutorial that I promised you in my video which showed you how to get great quality um, from, t well not how to, but showed you the great quality I got from a couple of clips using Twixter. And if you don't know what Twixter is, basically it's this plugin for Sony Vegas or Adobe After Effects. I'm using it on Sony Vegas Pro 11, right here, Vegas Pro 11. Uh, you probably can't see what I just pointed to, but it's Vegas Pro 11. This is what I'm using, and it's a plugin that it's slow motion. It, it makes it smoother than usual. Like sometimes it's all choppy, but this makes it nice and smooth. So the first thing we're going to do is go up to File and New, and it brings up this new project box right here, and we are gonna want to go to what I already have called Best. 59.94 FPS basically what it is is just like the regular one that it should come up the eight regular HD one except instead of the frame rate being NTSC which is 29.97 change it to 59.94 double NTSC because that's what Twixter works in you can do 29.97 if your clips are 29.97 but this is for the best smoothest quality possible go ahead and click OK so now you have it, it says right here, 59.94, we're all good. Now, it's time to get some clips in here. So I already have a folder open with some ClipHive clips. If you don't know what ClipHive is, go to youtube.com slash ClipHive. And there's some nice Call of Duty clips for you to uh, download and um, obviously edit. And just tell, just give them a shout out in your video when you edit. Uh, they actually have an intro you can use. But let's go ahead and drag in a clip. Let's go with sick kill cam because it's probably sick. Uh, let's get this hovering over here. There we go. Drag it right into there. All right. So you got your clip in here. And what you want to do is right click on the clip. Go to properties and uncheck maintain aspect ratio and check disable resample and press OK. And then go to a point in your clip anywhere, it doesn't matter, and click this little box. It says event pan slash crop. Click that. And then click this um, little, it looks like a triangle over here to the far left of this timeline. Click that. It'll bring you to the beginning of the clip if you have this checked off. If it doesn't, it's just check that off. And you're at the beginning. And then you're going to want to drag, make sure maintain aspect ratio is checked. And then you want to drag this in a little bit to get rid of those black lines that are on the edge. See right here, when it's out all the way, you can see the black lines. And then you drag it in, no more black lines. You can center that bad boy. And I actually already have a preset called No Black Bars, so I'm going to use that. And then go ahead and X out of there. And now throughout your whole clip, you shouldn't be able to see any black bars around the side that the Hop Hog HDPVI usually puts around there. If you're not recording with a Hop Hog, you might have to do that. You might not if there's no black bars. Anyways, let's try to find a spot to slow motion. So we, in this clip, we go up, we shoot, and then we're reloading right here. So basically, I want to slow mo when the 500 comes up on the screen and then reloading so let's start right there and press the s key on our keyboard to split the clip and then you're going to want to drag that away to over here so this that part right there you want it to slow motion and then you want to find when you want it to slow motion to so i want it to slow motion through that reloading to right there so i press s again let's zoom in here we can just drag this back over here and that little that little guy this little guy right here is what we want to twixter and we can just get rid of the sound completely because the sounds gonna be off when we twixter it and when we do slow motion anyway so now go down here and video effects go down to twixter you got twixter twixter pro twixter vectors in you're gonna hit twixter pro and i already have this preset hd 100 uh, I'm going to show you how to get this preset. Basically, you guys just drag the default in. I'll drag my special one in. And it's going to come up with this box. And it's going to tell you all these like crazy things. You have no idea what it's even talking about. So I'm going to go through each one. The display is going to be the Twixter output. Display layer all. Draw geometry. Check that baby off. Time remap speed. Speed. We're going to change later. Frame zero. Track quality best. BG motion sense all the way up. That's going to make it nice and smooth. Image prep contrast. Edge enhance. K 
cache op flow check that off frame interp blend warping forward smart blend check that baby off zero cut a zero three thirty thousand i was gonna say three million but that is thirty thousand and it doesn't matter with the other stuff so now we want to change the speed um basically a hundred is a hundred percent speed that's what you recorded it at and we want to slow that down you can go down to one percent speed if you wanted to but i'm gonna go down to like uh let's go with like two or five let's go two and then just press enter and it'll bring it right down to two and if you wanted to speed it up you could bring it above 100 200 percent that's going to be like two times as fast and then you can't really go negative i guess i just want to go two percent press enter x out of there and now we just want to drag that clip over and now it's going at two percent so we want to go and find the spot where it ends and it switches into the other clip we have so right here we see it turns over and it I, might work perfectly let's see this it goes oh that worked just about perfectly see how that clip goes smoothly right into the next one right there oh that worked perfect so basically i'll just show you if it didn't work perfect say this was way back here or yeah say it was like this and you're like oh my gosh it goes from this right here and then when i get over here it just jumps forward and then you're gonna want to like take this cl clip back make it bigger make this clip smaller whatever you need to do to have the two clips why did that just do that to have the two clips line up perfectly so it goes right from one into the other smooth motion and now we'll take a look at this we'll just go through this clip a little bit and it looks looks like some nice smooth motion from what I see and if yours is getting a little too blurred out like right back here you can see a little bit of warping up in here up in the bricks you can click this event effects box thing and it'll bring you back here and basically the warping is this BG motion sense that's basically taking like what's going on in the background and like warping it to make it look realistic but in this case it didn't really look realistic so we're gonna bring this down to a level where it does so let's go down to like 25 ish and let's see you see that looks a lot better no warping at all it's not gonna be as smooth but there isn't gonna be any of that warping so that might come in handy if you need uh, stuff like that if your starts warping really bad but um mine's looking pretty good so yeah guys i hope this helped a lot and i hope you have fun with your twixter for sony vegas after effects i assume you do the same thing but this tutorial is basically just for sony vegas uh, if this helped you at all, I hope you would subscribe to my channel, it means a lot, and there will be tons of other tutorials like this, so make sure to subscribe, this has been Charge, peace out my nuggets.